Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today I'm going to be showing you guys something really awesome. Now Mark our friendly zombie has gone and invited us out of our wonderful home where I'm not really sure what's going on. Mark, what's going on my friendly zombie? Is everything okay? It seems like every single time you invite us out of our house there's some sort of crazy adventure going on. Hello Naveed, we should do a house build battle. Then afterwards we can test out some TNTs and figure out which ones are the most dangerous? Last house to survive wins. Wait, are you trying to say that today we're going to go ahead and pretty much build some homes and then afterwards we're going to explode some TNTs around it and find out which ones survive? But it seems like Mark of Friendly Zombie only has a few TNTs. He has the Chunk Buster, the TNT 200 and also the Well Buster TNT, which I think is going to be so cool. Now the only thing I'm a little bit nervous about is that possibly some of these TNTs could easily crash our world. But that's not going to stop me. Mark, 3, 2, 1, let's get building! So Mark of Friendly Zombie usually puts all our building materials in a chest right around the corner. So what I'm going to do is take out all of them. Wait, Mark, have you given us some bedrock? That is so cool! But we also have some black stained glass, loads of tools and loads of furniture and also some wonderful black beds. It seems like the theme for today is black. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and build our house right around here, which I think is a great spot. Well, Mark, I'll see you in a minute. Let's get building. Okay, I want to make sure my house is going to protect every single person in our family. So I want to make sure you use up all our bedrock because the more we use, the more protective it's going to be. Marie, what do you think? Should we try and use up all our bedrock? Yeah, I agree. The more we use up, the better. Well guys, let's get building. I'm going to start with a wonderful floor. Now I'm going to try and make it pretty much six blocks across and then also quite a few blocks right around here and hopefully everything will look wonderful. So that's three, four, five and six. Perfect. And all we've got to do now is fill up this area with as much bedrock as we can get. Now maybe we should have done some foundation of bedrock but this is definitely going to be fantastic because I'm really hoping that nothing can go ahead and break any of our wonderful bedrock. I'm going to make this a pretty basic home. I'm just going to go up, so let's do uh, pretty much the basic flooring and perfect. And the only sad thing is, is that I can't build a bedrock door. We don't have the facilities for that. So let's go and do this. I'm going to do an oak door here and an oak door there and some stairs coming right up. Now I have a feeling this is going to break as soon as we place anything, but let's keep on going. So I'm going to do uh, one, two, three, four, and five, and perfect. And then we just got to go across. So let's do one, two, three, four, and the fifth one should be right around there. And perfect. So this is going to be our wonderful base. So let's keep on going up. And perfect. And hopefully everyone will be so happy with us. Mark, how are you doing over there, buddy? Let's go and check up on Mark and his army and find out how it's going. It seems like he's chosen diamonds. And it seems like he's gone ahead and actually made a wonderful base right underneath the ground. So this is going to be the most wonderful thing we've ever seen. You keep on going, Mark. This looks so cool. Mark, my friendly zombie, doesn't mess around. As soon as he gets in the building mode, he doesn't stop. Okay, let's go and finish our one. It seems like our one looks a bit of a mess. So, round here we go. And perfect. And I'm going to keep on going up. And good. And let's go around here. And hopefully we should be able to do this. There we go. And awesome. And let's try and go around here and finish this off. Now, Mark of Friendly Zombie is going to be so shocked once he sees how much bedrock we've gone ahead and used. Because so far, I'm pretty shocked as well. Keep going. And perfect. And there we go. Now, I was thinking of building some sort of staircase going right up to the top. Just in case something could happen. So, let's do a wonderful little base right up here as well. And perfect. Do you know what? I think this is going to be the most wonderful house we've ever done. And there we go. So, down we go right to the bottom. And let's get finishing up everything. So I'm going to build a wonderful little base right around there. And then I'm going to keep on going right around here. And I'm going to build some glass right on this level here. And perfect. This base is going to look so scary. Gosh, I'm actually really scared already. Okay, round here we go. Let's do one, two, three, four, and five. And in case some TNTs actually explode right outside the house, I want to be able to see them. There we go. And wonderful. Okay, let's keep on building our bedrock. Perfect. 
and awesome. And let's build our top layer. And hopefully this should be wonderful once we're done. Mark, how's this still going over there? Hopefully one of us will finish first. And whoever does gets to go ahead and pretty much explode all the TNT. Rounds, here we go. Come on. I want to be able to finish first because my girlfriend is zombie always laughs at me when we don't finish. Perfect. There we go. And awesome. Gosh, I think we're done. Let's go and have a quick look from the outside. Yep, this is wonderful. I actually really like this so much. But it seems like we might have to go ahead and add some more bedrock right on the outside. So I'm going to do uh, one here and one there. Then one around here and one here. And then one around, let me think, I'm going to do here and here. And then the final little blocks right around there. And perfect. I just want people to know that they can't go ahead and explode anything inside this little area right around here. So keep on going. And wonderful. And round here we go. And perfect. Do you know what, guys? I think this is going to be the best base we've ever had. I'm actually really shocked about this. And there we go. Mark, what do you think? How's it going for you, buddy? Gosh, Mark's house is going to look so cool. He's actually going ahead and putting slabs and a wonderful door. And he's already got furniture inside without even finishing the roof. So what I'm going to do is go and do the same. Let's give it all these bedrocks and all this glass. And let's get out all our wonderful furniture. And perfect. Hopefully all of this will fit inside our wonderful home. So I'm going to do a bed right here. Then a bedside cabinet right around there with a little lamp right there. And let's do this. And perfect. And then I'm going to put some side cabinets right around here that act as a wonderful chest. And I do think we can actually go ahead and add everything else. But the only crazy thing is we have so many tables, which I'm not really sure what to do with them. So what I'm going to do is put some chairs right here. And perfect. A lamp right here. And then we also have a sofa where I might just add right there. And perfect. Do you know what? Maybe this is actually everything we need. Can I add another bed on top? Nope, I can't. Okay, I think we've done a great job. I might just go ahead and add this bed right outside, just in case we can actually go to sleep and hopefully see the wonderful explosions of TNT. Mark, we're finished. So let's go ahead and find out if Mark, our friendly zombie, needs any help. Mark, how's it going, buddy? Do you need any help? Okay, I'll go ahead and wait. Well, guys, let's wait for Mark, our friendly zombie, to finish, and hopefully we can go ahead and blow up every single one of these houses. And we can find out which house will withstand the TNT explosions. Okay, let's get them out. I'm going to get out one, two, and three. And by the time Mark, our friendly zombie's finished, I would have gone ahead and found some flint and steel. Okay, I found my flint and steel, but I did actually go ahead and change some of the TNTs. I've got in a black hole, a TNT 200, and also an airstrike. Because the other ones I had a feeling would have crashed our world. Especially, trying to get rid of the bedrock and the diamond houses. Mark, are you ready? Oh, is the whole zombie family inside the house? Perfect, I think that's exactly what we need. Zombie family, stay inside, it's about to get very chaotic. Well, guys, let's do this. Let's go and spawn the airstrike. Here we go. Hopefully, it's not going to be a madness one. I'm kind of scared I might die myself, but I think we should be okay. Let's have a quick look. There it all comes. Whoa. Let's go inside the house quickly. No. We died to the TNTs. Okay, let's go and find out how everything is looking. Let's respawn back. Wait. Things are still blowing up. That's not good at all. Okay, let's respawn back again. And hopefully things should calm down. Okay, we're still dying. Nothing is going to get sorted out anytime soon. Oh, I think it's finished. Okay, let's go and have a quick look. So it seems like all the blocks are now falling. But I need to go ahead and find out. Wait a second. Mark, your whole house has been destroyed. Now where's my one? Okay, let's get up there. Okay, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is, is that our house survived. But the bad news is, is Marco Frini Zombie's house is pretty much in shreds. Look at it. There's pretty much like five diamond blocks waiting. But I can see the whole zombie family is doing okay. Let's go inside our house and let's go and spawn the black hole TNT. I have a feeling this one could possibly get rid of everything. See, it destroyed our whole house. And I have a feeling it might go ahead and destroy Marco Frini Zombie's house as well. I'm going to try my hardest to get out of here. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Because this one will go ahead and consume every single block in our whole world even the tnt one let's try and place this 
No! Mark, I'm so sorry about everything. This is going to kill every single mob inside our world. And look at every single blood gathering up right underneath our feet. Do you know what? I feel sorry for every single monster inside this world. It will go ahead and pull in every mob in the whole neighborhood. So everything is going to die. Now, it seems like Mark, our friendly zombie, and the whole family are pretty much still dying. But everything is going to keep on exploding. Look, it's even bringing all the TNTs right towards us. Okay, this is not going to be good. Guys, it seems like this TNT is going to go ahead and consume our whole world and nothing is going to survive. Now, the only thing I'm pretty much waiting for is to make it alive. No! But it's time now to go ahead and go and do the final one, which I'm going to try and do with Mark, our friendly zombie, right with us. Let's try and get up right to the top. And perfect. And I do see my whole zombie family right around there. So let's try and jump around. And perfect. And I do think our whole house got destroyed. So Mark, I think you're the winner. Even though my house has pretty much survived most of it, it seems like Bedrock cannot survive against these evil TNTs. So guys, I think this is the end of the video. Let's go ahead and spawn the TNT 200 and find out if anyone can survive this attack. Let's have a quick look. Now it's obviously going to lag because we've just spawned 200 TNTs. And there's a chance that no one is going to make it out alive either. Okay, this is just a madness. Guys, it seems like we're going to be in some sort of weird puzzle for ages where we can't get out. So guys, I will see you soon in another crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below, the button is red. And don't forget to press the notifications bell. And as Marco Friendly Zombie would say, Rah! Which means, peace out. So I'm going to make my way down to Bedrock and get enough blocks to go and build another Bedrock house. So guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out.